So hi everyone and a very good morning to all of you. Welcome back once again to another session of PIB 247. In today's class, we'll be talking about the PIB news from 6th to 7th of March 2023. And I hope your preparations for the upcoming RBI Grade B examinations are going well. Please do not lose your lose out any any more time. अगर आपकी preparation अभी भी सही नहीं चल रही है तो उसको सही करने का time आ चुका है. It is the right time to make your preparations right. Okay. So without any delay, just just focus on your preparation. Just don't wait for the notification. Notification आएगा एक दिन जरूर आएगा. Right. So let's talk about the very first question, guys. Without any delay, which says. Deakin University has become the first foreign university to be set up at international branch campus <coughs> campus in gift IFST of gift city in Gujarat. So the question is, it is a premier university of which country? Now, uh, I hope you guys, <coughs> I'm sorry. I hope you guys remember this as in the union budget. <coughs> in the, <coughs> I'm sorry for that. In Union Budget 2022-2023, the Union, uh, the government has announced that foreign universities and institutions will be set up in India and they will be providing degree to the Indian nationals and those degrees which are going on in those universities in the respective countries, right? So as part of that announcement, the Deakin University uh, the, has been given the approval for its setting up in Gift City of IFSC, right? So let's talk about uh, more about this news. Remember, Deakin University has become the first foreign university, right? So this is why it is uh, important. So it is the very first university which has been set up, which has been given approval for setting up at international branch campus in Gift IOSC in Gift City. Remember, this university, Deakin University, belongs to Australia. It is an Australian university, and with this approval. This university will be able to offer the same degree courses which it is giving uh, in the Australia to the Indian nationals and the foreign national as well in the area of science, technology, engineering, mathematics and financial management. Okay? So that is all about this news. Remember that DK University is the first foreign university that will be set up at IFSC Gift City in Gujarat and it belongs to Australia or it is, a, it is an Australian university. Okay? So that is all and therefore the correct answer is what option A, Australia, because the question is this only, the question is about to which country this university belong. So it belongs to Australia, option A. Moving ahead to question number two, National Council for Teacher Education has launched integrated teacher education program in 57 teacher education institutions from the academic session 2023-24, the upcoming session. So you need to identify incorrect statement about this integrated teacher education program. So what is this program? Let's talk about it and then we will come back to the question. Okay. So in, uh, it's, it is the National Council for Teacher Education, right? National Council for Teacher Education has launched this program, integrated teacher education, and it will be rolled out from the upcoming financial year, from the upcoming academic session year, that is 2023-24. But remember, it was announced, it was notified in the year 2021. So if anyone asks you that when this program is notified, the answer would be 2021. But at the same time, if anyone asks you from which academic session year this program was rolled out, the answer would be 2023-24, right? Now remember, it is a flagship program of National Council of for Teacher Education under new education policy for the year 2020-20, right? Those are means which new education policy is the part hai. Remember what is it basically? Integrated teacher education program is hai kya? So remember it is a four year dual major holistic undergraduate degree which offers degree in this format. BA, BA, BSc, BA or BCom, BA. Right? So char saal ka program hoga, it will be a four year program which will provide you degree in your BA, BA, either in BA, BA or in BSc, BA or in BCom, BA. So those of you who were planning to go for teaching career in future, now they will have to do four year integrated program and they will have BA degree and they will be eligible for CTET and other uh, state TET examinations, right? So, four years mein hi aapka ye ho jayega. Abhi aapke kitne lagte hai from, with, if I talk about the current uh, program, so three years of graduations and two years of BA. So, it takes five years. But with this, you will gain one year. The candidates who are looking for their teaching, uh, who are looking for teaching career, they will say one year, okay? 
and remember it will prepare teachers for the four stages of new school structure that is 5 plus 3 plus 3 plus 4 foundational preparatory middle and secondary it will be available for all the students who are looking forward uh, uh, being teacher as their career and admission for this will be carried out by NTA national testing agency through the national common entrance test right so that is all about this program and now let's come back to the question you need to identify the incorrect statement it is a flagship program of NCTE under NEP 2020 this is correct it is a four year dual major holistic undergraduate degree offering BA, BA, BSc, BA and BCom, BA, ABTK. It will prepare teacher for three stages of the new school structure. I think this is incorrect because it will, it will be preparing teachers for all the four stages of the new school structure that is 5 plus 3 plus 3 plus 4. So not three stages but for the four stages this statement is incorrect which means the option C is the correct answer. Moving ahead <clears throat> to question number three. This is an important question. Name the world's first 200 meter long bamboo crash barrier that has been installed on Bani Varora Highway, which connects Chandrapol and Yavadmal district of Maharashtra. Right? So, you need to name that world's first 200 meter long bamboo crash barrier. So, this, you will see on highways, there is a crash barrier installed, hote hai, but generally they are, of, they are made up of any metal. But this time, this is the world's first. Bamboo crash barrier, it is made up of bamboo, right? It is made up of bamboo and that is why it is an important news, okay? So remember, it is named as Bahu Balli, right? What is the name? Bahu Balli is the name of this bamboo crash barrier. And talking more about it, so which bamboo species has been used in making uh, this Bahu Balli? So it is bamboo, bambusa balcoa, right? It has undergone rigorous testing at various testing agencies of the government of India like Netrex, National Automotive Test Track of Indore. It has been rated as class 1 during fire rating test as well. Okay, so it will not not be it will be fire fireproof. Bhi hai. At the Central Building Research Institute. And also, it has been accredited by the Indian Road Congress. So, all the approvals, all the you know certifications uh, have been given to this crash barrier which is made up of bamboo from the species Bambusa Balcoa and it is named as Bahuballi. Alright, so that is all and therefore the correct answer will be what? Option A. Bahuballi will be the correct answer guys to this question. And now let's move ahead to question number 4. Which organization has organized Millets giveaway campaign to promote buying of Millets directly from FPOs to support small and marginal farmers of the country? So as we all know International Year of Millets, this 2023 is the International Year of Millets. So there will be various programs with respect to the Millets and one of those programs is this Millets Giveaway Campaign, right? And it has been launched by Small Farmers Agribusiness Consortium. Small Farmers Agribusiness Consortium is the organization which has launched this Millets Giveaway program. And remember this organization works, of course, under the Ministry of Agriculture and Farmers Welfare. Now this program has been launched with the major objective to promote buying millets directly from the farmer producer organization so that we can support the small and marginal farmers right and the three focus areas of this program millets giveaway campaign is to motivate general public to buy directly to buy millets directly from the fpo farmers to give buyers experience on using ondc's my store platform and also to motivate more people to adopt more and more people to adopt more and more millets Right. So these are the three focus areas of this Millets Giveaway campaign, which was launched by Small Farmers Agri Business Consortium, which works under the Ministry of Agriculture and Farmers Welfare, headed by Narendra Singh Tomar. And that is why the correct answer will be what? Option C, Small Farmers Agri Business Consortium. Moving ahead to question number five. Union Ministry... <clears throat> of Health and Family Welfare has organized a seminar in collaboration with the Pandemic Fund in New Delhi. So this is the news, right? This is the news that Union Ministry of Health and Family Welfare has organized a seminar in collaboration with Pandemic Fund in New Delhi on how we can make efficient use of this Pandemic Fund, right? That was the objective of this seminar. So you need to identify the incorrect statement about this Pandemic Fund, right? This is an important question, guys. So let's talk about it. Remember, Pandemic Fund was launched in November 2020, 2022 when the G20's presidency was with Indonesia. 
right it is a collaborative partnership among donor countries right among uh, uh, co investors foundations and civil society organization now you must be wondering it is a partnership for what what is the objective of this partnership so remember this fund finances critical investment to strengthen pandemic preparation to strengthen preparedness and to strengthen pandemic response capacities with a major focus on low and middle income countries because low and middle income countries are generally deprived of various you know they are generally deprived of funds and with that funds they they could use they could use that money for tackling such pandemic which happened covid 19 pandemic right so it has a major focus on low and middle income countries so that they can also strengthen their pandemic prevention preparedness and response capacities all right and this is an important part world bank serves as a trustee and host is secretariat it's world bank right and other implementing agencies for this particular pandemic fund is the multilateral development banks the international uh, health agencies health development agencies the the united nations specialized agency theek hai so this is something which is very important world bank serves as its trustee and host is secretariat and this is also which is very important that it was launched in november 2022 during india's uh, indonesia's g20 presidency theek hai and of course the objective is also important why this pandemic fund was launched so let's identify the incorrect statement about pandemic fund it was launched in november 2022 under indonesian g20 presidency absolutely correct it is a collaborative partnership among donor countries co investors foundations and civil society organizations ye bhi theek hai it finances critical investment to strengthen pandemic prevention preparedness and response capacity with focus on low and middle income countries ye bhi theek hai world health organization serves as its trustee and host its secretariat no that's not world health organization that's world bank so this statement is incorrect which means which means option d is the correct answer moving ahead <clears throat> to question number 6 which statutory body under ministry of health and family welfare has launched one stop non stop digital job portal for pharma professionals as well as the recruiters from the industry right so this is pharmacy council of india this statutory body is pharmacy council of india and this one stop non stop digital job portal was launched during pharma anvesh 2023 which has been recently organized by pharmacy council of india only right now pharma anvesh 2023 was organized to discuss on how we can improve the pharmaceutical sector as whole and also how we can improve the pharmaceutical education in the country theek hai and yeah this one stop non stop digital job portal it will enable the job seekers in the pharma sector and also the recruiters this portal will connect all these uh, job seekers and recruiters and make them make their life easier theek hai and talking about pharmacy council of india so remember it, it is a statutory body which was set up under pharmacy act of 1948 Pharmacy Act of 1948 के अंडर इसको सेटअप किया गया था टू प्रमोट फार्मेसी एजुकेशन इन द कंट्री एंड इट वर्क अंडर द मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ हेल्थ एंड फैमिली वेलफेयर राइट विच इज एडेड बाई मनसुख मंडाविया सो दैट इज ऑल अबाउट इट एंड नाउ लेट्स कम बैक टू द क्वेश्चन द करेक्ट आंसर टू दिस क्वेश्चन विल बी ऑप्शन सी फार्मेसी काउंसिल ऑफ इंडिया विच वर्क अंडर द मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ हेल्थ एंड फैमिली वेलफेयर क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवन Where has the third session of National Platform for Disaster Risk Reduction been organized under the theme Building Local Resilience in a Changing Climate? So I think everything is already provided in this question. इससे ज़्यादा आपको इसमें पढ़ना भी नहीं है. So this was the third session. This was the third edition of this session of National Platform for Disaster Risk Reduction, and it took place in New Delhi. It was jointly organized by Ministry of Home Affairs, Ministry of Home Affairs, because disaster management. is under the comes under the ambit of ministry of home affairs theek hai national disaster management authority national disaster response force and national institute of disaster management and you must remember the theme of this third session as well which was building local resilience in a in a changing climate building local resilience in a changing climate was the theme of this third session 
ठीक है इसके अलावा आपको कुछ भी पढ़ने की जरूरत नहीं है बिकॉज ड्यूरिंग दिस सेशन देर वर डिस्कशन रिगार्डिंग हाउ वी कैन मिटिगेट द डिजास्टर एंड हाउ वी कैन यू नो हैव अ कंट्रोल ऑन दी अपकमिंग डिजास्टर्स राइट हाउ अगर डिजास्टर आ जाते हैं तो हाउ कैन वी टैकल दो डिजास्टर्स इस तरीके की डिस्कशन थी विच आर नॉट रिक्वायर्ड फॉर दी एग्जामिनेशन ठीक है सो वे डिड इट टेक प्लेस इट टूक प्लेस इन न्यू डेली ऑप्शन ए इज द करेक्ट आंसर क्वेश्चन नंबर एट एप्लीकेंट्स एप्लीकेशन और नॉमिनेशन फॉर प्राइम मिनिस्टर्स अवार्ड फॉर द योगा टू थाउजेंड एंड ट्वेंटी थ्री हैव बीन इन्वाइटेड रिसेंटली यू नीड टू आइडेंटिफाई इन करेक्ट स्टेटमेंट अबाउट दीज अवार्ड नाउ करेंटली द अवार्ड हैव नॉट बीन गिवन द अवार्ड आर गिवन एवरी ईयर ऑन इंटरनेशनल डे ऑफ योगा दैट इज ट्वेंटी फर्स्ट जून करेंटली द एप्लीकेशन आर इन्वाइटेड ठीक है ओनली द एप्लीकेशन हैव बीन इन्वाइटेड बट लेट्स टॉक अबाउट दीज अवार्ड ये अवार्ड है क्या इसके बारे में थोड़ा सा डिस्कस कर लेते हैं बिकॉज यू नेवर नो कि एग्जाम में इस अवार्ड के बारे में कुछ पूछ लिया जाए या जब विनर डिक्लेयर होगा विनर के साथ साथ अवार्ड के बारे में कुछ पूछ लिया जाए ठीक है सो द ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ दिस अवार्ड इज टू रिकॉग्नाइज द एग्जेम्पलरी कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ इंडिविजुअल एंड ऑर्गेनाइजेशन सो दीज अवार्ड आर गिवेन टू इंडिविजुअल एंड ऑर्गेनाइजेशन बोथ द कैटेगरी ठीक है फॉर देर एग्जेम्पलरी वर्क इन स्प्रेडिंग द्रेडिंग द लाइट ऑफ योगा अक्रॉस द ग्लोब राइट The awards are given in two categories: national awards and international awards. National awards are, of course, given to the people who are of Indian origin, and international awards are given to the persons of Indian origin or the foreign national as well to promote yoga, to spread the light of yoga across the globe. Okay. Winners, as I told you, are announced on the International Year, International Day of Yoga, 21st June, and the award consists of a trophy, certificate, and a cash prize of rupees 25 lakhs. and the winners are selected by these two committees constituted by the ministry of ayush right ministry of ayush hai iska nodal agency first the applications are screened by a screening committee and finally the winners are decided by an evaluation committee or you can say the jury theek hai so that is all you need to uh, you need to know about these awards but jab winners declare honge on 21st june we will discuss these awards again so we need to identify the incorrect statement so it recognizes exemplary contribution of individuals and organizations towards development and promotion of yoga correct it is given in two categories ye bhi theek hai ministry of culture is the nodal ministry for this award is that the ministry of culture i just told you it's not ministry of culture it's ministry of ayush so this is incorrect which means the option c is the correct answer and now let's move ahead guys to the questions in short which do not need much explanation which are direct and before that if you want to have the pdf of this session this class you can join the telegram channel the link is provided in the description and if you want to ask anything you can follow me here as well question number 9 <clears throat> after which date the bureau of indian standards bis has prohibited the sale of hallmark gold jewelry artifacts without Six digit alpha numeric hallmark unique identification number. अगर आप सोना खरीदने जा रहे हो तो प्लीज प्लीज चेक फॉर दिस सिक्स डिजिट एल्फा न्यूमरिक हॉल मार्क यू आई डी ठीक है इसके बिना मत लेना सो आफ्टर थर्टी फर्स्ट मार्च टू थाउजेंड एंड ट्वेंटी थ्री नो ज्वेलर वुड बी एबल टू सेल एनी ज्वेलरी एनी गोल्ड ज्वेलरी आर्टिफेक्ट विदाउट दिस सिक्स डिजिट नंबर ठीक है सो ऑप्शन ए इज द करेक्ट आंसर क्वेश्चन नंबर टेन वेयर हैज कौशल महोत्सव बीन ऑर्गेनाइज by the ministry of skill development in association with ministry of tribal affairs skill development is headed by dharmendra pradhan and tribal affairs is headed by batao headed by arjun munda okay automotive skill development council and national skill development council so this was organized kaushal mahotsav was organized in sarai kela kharsawa sarai kela kharsawa is a district of jharkhand do remember this as well because they can ask you the state as well Sarai Kela Thersawa is the district in Jharkhand, and therefore the correct answer is option E. Question number eleven: Which ministry, in collaboration with Madhya Pradesh government, is organizing regional conference on the theme Good Governance Practices in Bhopal? Whenever there is a question on good governance or governance or e-governance, the answer would be Ministry of Personnel, Public Grievances, and Pension, because that is the nodal ministry in our country for to look after the effective governance, right? and that is why option d is the correct answer question number 12 where will ministry of labor and employment be organizing the first 
L20 Labour 20 meeting under India's G20 presidency. So the locations of at least the first edition of meeting are important. There are various meetings. So try to remember at least the first meeting. कहाँ पे पहली meeting हुई है at least वो तो आपको याद रखना पड़ेगा. So the first L20 meeting will be organized in Amritsar in Punjab. Option B is the correct answer. Question number 13. Where has Gujarat University, Indian Institute of Sustainability and Kashmir University organized cultural fest, Kashmir festival, which was, uh, you know, which, where uh, uh, the Minister of Home Affairs, Amit Shah, had a very long bhashan. So it was organized in Ahmedabad and not in any place in Kashmir. So option B, Ahmedabad is the correct answer. Which guidelines have been <coughs> recently uh, published by BIS? For enhancing safety in the transportation of dangerous goods. So, for transportation or for safe and secure transportation of dangerous goods, BIS has come up with the new guidelines, which is IS 18149-2023. Option B is the correct answer. Question number 15: <clears throat> Where will the second G20 Education Working Group meeting on strengthening research and innovation through collaboration be held? So this will be the second G20 education working group meeting and it will take place once again in Amritsar. Punjab is the correct answer. And the last question for today, which state is hosting the 23rd Commonwealth Law Conference under the theme Commonwealth Lawyers, Common Challenges in Uncommon Times, right? So very direct question, you just have to identify the state. It, the, the name of event is given, the theme of the event is given. Now you have to identify the name of the state and the state in question is Goa. Option B is the correct answer. Alright, so that is all for today. I hope all the questions and their explanations are clear. If you have any doubts, you can ask me in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye, take care and God bless.